So if you have social anxieties, phobias, fears and worries about social situations, or anything that's making you nervous or anxious about something coming in the future, you need this one hack, this one tip. I wouldn't even call it a hack, I'd call it a tip because it's really effective. It's the one thing that no one does. And it's doable, and we don't even realize it. And so nobody does it, they just blow right past it. I'm Zalman Nelson, I'm an online therapist. I help people upgrade their relationship with themselves and it automatically uplifts their relationships with other people. So let's get into it. Here's what happens. You're thinking about a situation that's coming up and you can look at my other video about how to deal with things in anxious situations, how to prepare yourself. But here's what happens. There's three parts to the situation, but we only focus on two. There's the worries, the fears, the nerves, right? You're thinking about that test, you're thinking about an interview, you're thinking about a date, you're thinking about some social situation in the future, and there's a whole lot of anxieties. And your mind starts telling you, this could go wrong, and this could go bad, and this could go bad, right? That's a part of you that's not, it's not against you, it's trying to help you, but it doesn't feel like that because it's really difficult. And that realizing part of you is trying to help you is also part of building a new relationship with yourself and overcoming this, but it's trying to prepare you, make sure that you're safe and secure. So you start thinking about every possible scenario that could happen, everything that could go wrong. You're gonna say this and then I'll say this, right? Like as if I prepare every single possible situation that could occur, could occur and then here's how I'll respond. And so I've got like a hundred scenarios in my mind and that's how I'm gonna deal with it. It doesn't work, it doesn't work. But this is what people do, this is what we do. And it's okay, it's legitimate. We're looking for a way to feel safe, secure, prepared, and ready. Um, and so, so we're worried about the situation. Okay. Step two is the actual situation occurs. It works out, the conversation happens, the interview happens, the date happens, whatever it is, right? Sigh of relief, it's all over, great, finish. Put it in the rear view mirror, everything worked out fine. And that's where the mistake is because there's a step three. Step three is like, wait a minute. What just happened here? What was I worried, fearful, nervous, convinced could possibly occur? We have to go back to step one. We tend not to because I'm so relieved the situation is over. I don't want to think about it anymore, but it's a mistake. Why? Because the same fears, worries, nerves, concerns that didn't play out at all in this situation will come back to visit you in the future because they're part of the only set of tools that you currently have. So you start working on yourself emotionally and check out my videos if you want to start getting into that. But it's the only tools you have to somehow prepare you for this future situation. Your mind, your heart, your being is trying to make sure you are safe and secure. And for many of us, it goes way back to being a kid and we never felt safe and secure. And we still don't feel safe and secure, but you have to do something. So for many people, that's that's where the anxiety comes from. That's the nerves is thinking about everything that could possibly go wrong. So the situation happens, it occurs, and we're so relieved it's over, we don't think about it, but those same sets of worries, fears, nerves will come back to visit you the very next time you've got a test, a social situation, anything that's anxiety provoking. Let's break out of that, okay? What we want to do is add step three. What was I worried and fearful of? Did any of it play out? And you're in a good position. You need to wait a day or two to just enjoy that it worked out fine. No problem, right? We feel so much relief when these conversations go well, these situations go well, fine. But reflect back and say, wait a minute. What was I telling myself? What was I nervous about? What were some of the worst case scenarios I imagined occurring? Did any of them play out? Most likely none of them did. Or even if something did, it wasn't a big deal. You handled it, it was okay. Which means, instead of the future situation, that'll be just like these situations. Instead of thinking the worst, you can prepare yourself and say, you know what, like this occurred before, I know you, this thought, that thought, the other thought, I'm familiar with you. If you weren't true last time, I'm gonna be less believing of you in future situations when they come up, which in and of itself is a healthier way already of dealing with anxiety of saying, okay, I've been in these situations before and I, none of those things, those worries came true or even the ones that did, it, it worked out fine. It was not anywhere near as uh, intense or difficult to deal with as possible. So make sure you start adding in step three. If nothing else, it's easy to do. One step three is to, to, you're worried about something occurring, the situation happens, everything is fine, you make it through. And then reflect back, okay, it worked out well. What was I telling myself? What was I worried about? What was I afraid of occurring? Did any of it come true? Because I wanna be prepared in the future. That thought, that worry, that fear, when it comes back up again, because it will, because that's still, like I said, the only tools you currently have to help you navigate anxiety is when it comes back up, I wanna be able to say, I know you. 
and it's going to be fine. I don't want to worry about you so much. And if you enjoy these tips and tools, please click the subscription button. Click the notification so you get it first when it comes out. I'll share it with your friends. Let them know about this information. Apply it to yourself. Feel free to comment. I check the comments and I respond a lot. Keep going. Keep growing. Talk more soon.